Coming up, I will discuss why productivity is all about how effective and efficient you are with your time. Let's get started. If you're new here, my name is Matthew Royce. I am a knowledge enthusiast. You get to decide where your time goes. You can either spend it moving forward or you can spend it putting out fires. You decide. And if you don't decide, others will decide for you, said Tony Morgan, a church consultant, leadership coach, and writer. Productivity is an art and a science of how effective you are with your time how efficient you are, and how you juggle your evolving list of tasks, projects, and meetings. We must get more done in less time in today's modern world. It can be easy to feel overwhelmed with tons of emails in your inbox, presentations to create and deliver, newly assigned tasks, and meetings you must attend. Today's demands require you to be effective at time management. The key is not spending time, but investing in it, said Stephen Covey, an American educator, author, businessman, and speaker. It would help if you stay focused on what's essential and actions that align with your top priorities and help you achieve your goals. Here are 10 tips to ensure you are efficient and effective with your limited time. Number one, create and maximize your to-do list. You can do anything, but not everything, said David Allen, and an author, consultant, and lecturer. There is only so much time in the day to get things done. Your to-do list can make you feel overwhelmed. Your to-do list should guide your day, not take over it. An effective to-do list will help you plan what you need to get done that day and prioritize your tasks. Your to-do list should become your North Star for the day and help you stay focused. You can create a daily and weekly to-do list. Find what works for you. You may want to break up your to-do list by what needs to get done today, this week, or this month. Consider adding a waiting list where you can wait for someone to get back to you. Number two, identify what you can stop doing. What is important is seldom urgent, and what is urgent is seldom important, said Dwight D. Eisenhower, the 34th President of the United States. Find ways to avoid unnecessary meetings and tasks at work. Look for things that don't add value to your professional and personal life and cut them out. Learning to say no without burning bridges can help you avoid wasting time. You probably receive many requests that are not relevant to your priorities. It would help if you learned how to say no to focus on what's important, not what's urgent. Number three, align your time with your priorities and values. Time equals life. Therefore, waste your time and waste your life. Or master your time and master your life, said Alan Lakin, an American author. Does your time align with your values? Are you spending time on what matters to you? Do your meetings, projects, and tasks align with your top priorities? If you answer no, you must make changes. Focus on the things that matter. Focus on the right goal, the right problems, the right opportunities. You'll feel less stressed when you don't waste your time solving the wrong problems or seeking out the wrong goals. It's essential to be crystal clear about your values and priorities to focus your time. Number four, delegate. Deciding what not to do is as important as deciding what to do, said Jessica Jackley, an American entrepreneur. Review your to-do list and consider what you can reassign. Is there a better task for your boss, colleagues, family member, or friend? Delegation is about transferring a task from one person to another. Delegating tasks frees up your time to do other things. If you are a leader or manager, delegating is essential to your success. You must know what tasks are best for what people on your team so they can work smarter, not harder. Not all tasks can be delegated, so it's essential to determine the tasks you have each day and whether or not someone else can do them. Number five, time block. You don't get results by focusing on results. You get results by focusing on the actions that produce results, said Mike Hawkins, a former American football player. It would help if you control time or time will control you. Schedule time on your calendar when you won't be interrupted by anything or anyone. Let others know when you're available and when you are not. Time blocking is about planning out every minute of your day. In other words, you schedule blocks of time on your calendar that align with tasks you need to do. You are committed to completing those tasks during the time block. Time blocking works because the brain needs focus to be productive. Don't block out more than 90 minutes at a time because research has found you can only remain in peak performance for that amount of time. Number six, set deadlines. I love deadlines like the whooshing sound they make as they fly by, said Douglas Adams, an English author and humorist. A deadline is about a date when a task must be finished. When you set deadlines, you can collaborate with others to achieve a goal and keep a project on track. Deadlines help you and others expect when things will be done. 
You can take control of your work when you break down bigger stuff into pieces. Deadlines help you stay motivated towards a goal. They ensure you get started and finish on time. Deadlines help you reduce the time you procrastinate and get more things done on time. Number seven, lead and attend productive meetings. The longer the meeting, the less is accomplished, said Tim Cook, CEO of Apple. Research has found that 67% of workers spend too much time in meetings. Make sure you lead and attend productive meetings. Think about shortening your meetings to 15 minutes. Rethink how you run meetings by thinking about the technology, processes, and purpose. Keep discussions short and have an agenda. Make sure the meetings that you lead and attend have a clear purpose. You are in control of the meetings you lead. Make sure you take meetings off autopilot and maximize each one. Number eight, get organized. To ensure you don't waste time, you must get organized. Start a process for how you will keep track of tasks, projects, and meetings. Also, set up reminders so you can follow up on essential items. Keep everything in its place, start a checklist, and create a daily routine to get organized. Also, make sure you focus on one task at a time and avoid the bad habit of multitasking. Number nine, remove clutter. Clutter is a significant time waster. When you have clutter, you must spend time finding what you are looking for. Purge or delete what you don't need. Remove clutter by sorting, streamlining, and organizing things. Toss out the trash, organize your drawers, and let go of unused items in your home office, kitchen, bathroom, living room, or bedroom. To prevent clutter from coming back, you should make your bed every morning, do the dishes after every meal, open and sort snail mail immediately, designate a place for essential items, and put items back in their designated areas. Number 10, use reminders. Please write down your priorities and make them visible. You may want to get post-it notes to remind yourself about critical items. Put them around your work area, on the fridge, or in critical areas of your work area or home. Reminders can be physical, like post-it notes, or digital reminders with apps on your phone or computer. You can also get reminders from your family, friends, and colleagues. To ensure you're using reminders, ensure you get rid of reminders that you're not using. Okay, let's bring it all together. First, if you like what you saw here, please hit the subscribe button below. A man who dares to waste one hour of life has not discovered the value of life, said Charles Darwin, an English naturalist, geologist, and biologist. There are 10 simple tips that can help you manage your time better. Create and maximize your to-do list. Identify what you can stop doing. Align your time to your priorities and values. Delegate, time block, and set deadlines. Lead and attend productive meetings. Get organized, remove clutter, and use reminders. Productivity is about how well you're using time and reducing the time you waste. Time is a precious resource, so you must use it effectively and efficiently. Experiment with different approaches and ways that will help you better manage your time. Your future is created by what you do today, not tomorrow. Thank you for watching. Until next time. <music>